Hey, what is up, guys? The only monster here with another replay. Let's uh, let's have a look at the draft here. Uh, we have a Mirana position four, probably. Lion five. Uh, bouncy off, I'm guessing. Yeah, I see the quality blades. So it's probably off lane. Um, turn not safe. Invoker mid. Um, is it? Is it a shard that lets him take? Yeah. Uh, Bounty Hunter Shard is pretty insane. Uh, he takes less 40% less damage when he's invisible, and then he also stuns a target when he comes, uh, if he hits a target of invisibility. It's a pretty cool shard, pretty cool shard. We'll see if he gets it. Um, for the Dire, we have Axe, probably gonna be in the offlane. Rubik, 4. Phoenix 5? Yeah, Phoenix 5 with a mid, and then safe lane Razor. Oh, huh, interesting. It's a little bit more of a... Um, Unconventional draft, but not totally not unseen. Uh, Race is safely an ace thing. Uh, oh, and we have a DC. Uh, but yeah, racer uh, racer safely not not entirely crazy. Um, and this Pokemon probably gonna be in the mid lane. Uh, but yeah, we have a pause, so we'll be right back when uh, the player reconnects. And we're back. Player reconnected. Bounty runes about to spawn in, so let's have a look. So the dire oh are the dire actually gonna get both of the Oh okay okay. I thought the dire were about to get both of the river ruins, but no. So it's just gonna be two two aside. Not too bad. Um I kinda like the new runes because there's a lot of shenanigans that can happen. Like um people like usually focus quite a bit on the river runes. So you could probably sneak um yeah, if you're the dire, uh, you could probably sneak one of the radiant ones, like the radiant uh, bounty rune here. And likewise, you know, for the radiant, you could probably sneak the dire here if they're too focused on the river. So I kind of like that. Um, the new, the new system with the runes, uh, the new spawning of the runes, it's a little bit weird. Spawn every three minutes, um, like the bounty runes, kind of, kind of feels weird. And then also the water runes, the, uh, yeah, it's new, but it's cool. I like it. You know, new changes, keeping the game fresh. Here in the mid lane, I'm not. What is this? Quas, Quas Wax Invoker. I'm not really sure how well um, this Invoker is meant to do. Because, um, especially now that he went for the Quas Wax build, um, you know, Invoker doesn't really like getting the uh, lane shoved into him. And that's kind of why Kunkka is such a good. Uh, such a good matchup against the uh, Invoker because you just kill the wave so fast and you shove it into him and Invoker, Invoker doesn't really like that. You know, besides, uh, Konka does quite a bit of um, quite a bit of damage with the Tidebringer. So let's have a look at the top lane. Nope. Let's have a look at the bottom lane because that's where the first blood is happening. Let's rewind a few seconds. Well, well, that was more than a few, but you know. Level one, Berserker's call. Oh, Battle Hunger, my bad. The Circus Call is uh, his Q. Oh, wow. Literally just gets spun down. Very unfortunate. Like, uh, no way. Is that gonna be a double? I think it might be. Whoa. Nope. Almost. 20 HP. Very close. Very unfortunate that the axe ended up going down there. He doesn't have boots and. He's actually faster, he's actually faster, he's got, got more move speed than the Juggernaut, but you know, he gets caught with the stun, and then the Juggernaut was in a good position, and was able to not catch up to the to the axe, but you know, just chill a little bit behind him, and you know, ends up getting the kill in the end. That was almost like, um, towards the end of his, like, uh, Battle Fury, that was uh, quite close. I am going for the pull. Doesn't actually get end up pulling the full wave, just the two range, but that's good enough. Gonna deny that. And just as I'm focusing on the bot lane, we get a kill on the top. Boom. We want. Oh, still level one. Only has the arrow, doesn't have the leap. Nice body blocks. Gives him the kill. Very nice, very nice. A little bit unfortunate that he got caught um, pre-level, you know, just like uh, on level one. Otherwise, he would have been able to just sleep away. This Phoenix actually like uh, does quite a bit of damage. Really, like any position you put him, he's gonna do well because his fire spirit is pretty annoying, especially against you know 
against, especially against like carries. You know, you want to be right clicking, and uh, the attack speed slow is super annoying. Really good for trading uh, if you're in the um, in the support position. But yeah, let's have a look over at the mid lane. Yeah, this Pugna is having a good time in the in the mid lane. Gonna sneak his rune. See how his bottle already? Yes, he does. Free bottle refill. That's quite nice. This uh, this invoker is not having a good time over here in the mid lane. Very, very rough. Very rough. Nine last hits, two of nice, two of seventeen last hits, and eight of nice. Like very rough time in the mid lane for the radiant. Oh. Return kill onto the Phoenix that of course I miss. Why wouldn't I miss it, you know? Gets arrowed. Oh, just dive coming a little bit too a little bit too slow. Uh, and too much burst damage coming from the Janata and the Shuriken Toss. Very nice, very nice. I mean you need to have oh my god, no way dude. This is actually insane. <laughs> Ah, <laughs> oh, good thing this is a replay, brother. Let's have a look at what happens here. Stun into the blade fruit. There you go. He's got boots. Very nice. Yeah. I remember before, like, um, when I, I don't know. Before, I didn't used to value boots as much, so I had to go, like, you know. Wraith Band, or you know, go on, or things like that. I even like apply it's not even the carry position, but also when I'm playing support. But the more I start watching like these, um, these high level, you know, high level MMR players, I start realizing how the importance of movement speed is like super important. And and some supports you really want to get boost level one bounty dropping kind of low. Oh, uh. That hurts. Uh, that was 72 damage that he drained, but he should be okay as long as he doesn't overstep his boundaries. What? I say that. Oh, invoker dropping kind of low. Ooh, that arrow a little bit off the mark. This point now, a little bit of a blunder. A little bit of a. Oh, ah, uh, he might be dead. No, he's dead. Wow, so just like that, you know, the the Pugna had a good lead over on the uh, over an invoker, and just like that, it gets thrown away. And just as the Mirana TP's, oh, that was too much. Just as the Mirana TP's over to help uh, his invoker, the you know, the bounty hunter gets left alone to recognize that, and you start running. Uh, put a sentry down. Maybe not the most value thing, um, you know. Using a sentry just for the uh, just for the kill, but sentries are cheaper now, so it's actually not that bad. Actually, not that bad. Before sentries were like 90 gold, now they're like 75, 65, something like that. Yeah, much cheaper. Oh, this, ooh, this juggernaut jumping a little bit low. Yeah, this juggernaut's actually doing surprisingly well considering it's uh, against an axe, an axley. But yeah, that that kill at the beginning really set him up. Uh, for for a good for a good lane. Now has the face boots, so he should be able to dodge any calls. And yeah, Axe has no boots. Uh, yeah, so he should be able to dodge any berserker calls coming through his way. You know, like you can see it coming. Whenever whenever an Axe wants to call you, you could pre pretty much see it coming. Arrow, a little bit off the mark. So this Phoenix is gonna be fine. <laughs> I mean, I don't even say it's my fault. Don't worry about it, buddy. That stuff happens. Bounty runes about to spawn. I mean, power runes about to spawn. Nope, bounty runes. I don't even know the timings anymore. I'm a scrub. Radiance middle tower is under attack. Let's see, Falcon Blade. Ooh. Yeah, that was uh, that was actually kind of close. The the racer almost kind of walked into that, but you know that uh, the arrow was for the for the siege turret. I wonder if this axe is gonna start cutting ways or or what. But yeah, the radiant though. Uh, this is this dragon. I was like, yeah, I'm out of here, bro. Like, um, yeah, they had the ward here. They saw it coming. Dragon was like, I'm out of here. I'm not. I'm not sticking around, buddy. Where is this invoker? He's just pressuring mid. Okay. And yeah, just like that, the, the invoker now has a level advantage on the on the pugna. Uh, the pugna was doing pretty well 
on the mid lane, but then you know he, a little bit of a overextension dives under dives under the tower. Mirana TPs in like a good support would, and then yeah, like he just dies. And that lead that he he had not gone. Axe almost level six. So once he's level six, like this juggernaut needs to be a little bit scared. But that also goes the same for the axe. Like once this juggernaut has, yep. Once this juggernaut, I mean yeah, this juggernaut has Omni Slash. It needs to be a little bit careful. You can't just, you know, pressure him just like that. Because if you get a whole Omni Slash, that, that, that stuff hurts. Especially for the Rubik. Maybe not so much for the Axe. He can battle hunk Berserker's Call for, for the extra armor. But still, uh, that, that thing hurts. Invoker kind of TPing in. Maybe I wanted to make something happen, but sides in the end, not worth my time. Not gonna bother. Rana, leeching some EXP from mid. Oh, Pugna gets caught out again. I don't know why you're the curve fight there. Uh, you just take extra damage. And you and you reduce your movement speed. So yeah, I don't know, really know why you did that. And wow, I, I kinda need to see that again. Kinda just gets melted. He was doing so well in the mid lane, but then like, he has like this, I don't know, over like this need to like make something happen that he really doesn't like. Yeah, very unfortunate. Like he was doing so well, but now he's just like throwing away the lead he had. Oh no, this is not a good fight for the dire for sure, my guy. There's four enemy heroes here, and it's just the axe and this Rubik. What level is that? Four. It's a little bit under leveled. Uh, level four as well. Okay, never mind. I should probably switch this to net worth. Boom. Yeah, Juggernaut. Where's he going? Battle Fury? No, Maelstorm. Yeah. Ooh. Wow. Four heroes diving this Pugna. Like, uh, this boy needs some help. Where's his team? Nowhere to be seen, apparently. Oh. The Racer TP is over. Nice to Gripify. Buys him some time. Actually, oh, almost survives, but the Storm Storm uh, finishes off the kill. Man, I'm gonna end up going down. Now it's on to the Lion. Unless you can deny yourself, I think you're pretty dead, my guy. Yeah, so you're gonna stick around till the camp dies. But yeah, in the end, that was kind of a, that was a pretty worth a trade for the for the dire. That was quite an overextension by the radiant. Like, you know, four heroes onto the pugna. It's like, yeah, okay, it makes sense. You know, you want to kill the pugna. Nice little battle hunger to get the movement speed. Yeah, now I'm gonna die to the only slash. But yeah, that was that was a nice uh, nice reaction by the dire. Uh, a little bit of an overextension by the by the radiant. Just you know, they they had four four heroes and they're like, all right, all right, we're four heroes. We can dive them as much as we want. And very nice by the dire to react and help out his boy, the Pugna. Does end up going down, but they end up killing pretty much everyone that the dives the that dives the Pugna. So that's cool. A little bit of a invasion onto the dire jungle. Still has dive, so it should be okay um, unless he gets disabled. Yeah, so he's dead. Doesn't use a dive, gets a little bit greedy, ends up going down for it. I don't think he saw the line. I think he, he, he probably thought it was only the only a bounty hunter, so he thought it was safe, but gets disabled and then realizes probably should have dove. Juggernaut well into this wave to this maelstorm. Oh, what a player. Oh, that was close. The attempt was there. Sucking all that damage. 73 damage. It's a little bit low on health. In the end, uh, just being a trade support for support. Tone's coming through. Who is gonna. Uh, I think Ruby got the one, and then Mirana got the. Yeah, I got the other Tone. Is Rubik level 6 yet? Let's see. Yep, he's level 6. Nice. So this is Phoenix, very nice, very nice, very neat at level 6 for the Phoenix. Uh, it's a very big part of their team fight from the Dyers, this Phoenix, uh, just the egg. And oh no, this dead boy. Well, this is not a good fight for the Dyer no more. This, uh, this Pugna just keeps getting, just keeps getting killed by the... By the by the bounty hunter, you know, he gets scattered out and then they have plenty of setup. Uh this invoker went for the Quas Wex build, so setup is his middle name. And you know, you have Lion Mirana. Like um, <laughs> making kills happen is not an issue for this radiant. Like uh, they have a very high pickup potential. 
Oh, is he gonna egg here? Yep, eggs right in the middle. Not sure if that was the positioning you wanted, but nice call to. Yeah, very nice call to. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> yeah, that was a very nice call to prevent the the enemy heroes from hitting the egg. A little bit too much in the middle? Like, um, maybe you could have put it a little bit to the side, but you know, I'm just being nitpicky here. In the meanwhile, Pugna takes the, the Radiant Smith Tower. Very nice, very nice trade. And they might actually get the Safe Lane Tower as well. So, overall, pretty nice trades. They get two towers and they want to fight. Still, the Radiant are winning and uh, they're ahead in net worth, surprisingly enough. But then again, this Juggernaut is pretty fat. And now that he's got his Millstone, probably, yeah, he's gonna get even fatter. He's gonna accelerate his farm even more. Oh, breaks the smoke. They don't have any dust, do they? Oh, they do, but just one. And it was from the dude that was all the way back. Jordan on TP's in, only slash coming through. Nice to Crepify. But he's gonna end up going down anyways. Fell into temp there. Leaps away. Oh, Invoker in trouble, gets put bursted down. Sorry, this fight's not looking so bad for the Dire. Phoenix does end up going down, but this Lion's gonna end up going down. There's no Omni Slash. Nice to cover fight. This uh, this Pugna is saving his teammates left and right. Oh, here comes the uh, here comes the spin, and all of a sudden I think it's time to run. Wow! This Pugna, I was thrashing this man, but G Louis popping off my goodness this book now absolutely doing work for the dire goodness gracious that was uh <laughs> that juggernaut blew up like uh casting the Kripify on his teammates that are getting omni slashed and focused down uh you know a lot of damage coming through from this book now uh, like a lot but actually, oof, I can't see anymore, but uh, it would have been cool to see how much damage the Pokémon dealt in that fight because it was insane. The Decrepify and then the Nether Blast, like, he bursted down so many targets like that. He killed the Invoker like that, he killed the Juggernaut like that, and I'm pretty sure he bursted down the, the Lion like that too. So, what looked like a disastrous fight for the Dire actually ended up being not so bad. A little bit less than a 1k net worth lead, but if you look at the top two heroes, top three heroes, oh, uh, it was uh, it was a Pugna there for a second, and then the Invoker overtook him, but yeah, they are fighting a little bit there. Axe not having so much of a good game, this Axe, no. I thought he would have a little bit more impact, but he just isn't. He's just gonna go for the Blink Dagger now, I think, yeah, right choice. You kind of need like you need a good fight to go your way. Like you need a fight where your axe survives, gets gets something done. Because right now he's a little bit in the, a little bit in the dumpsters right now. Egg is ready, so I think the dire are pretty ready to take a fight. Actually, they're they're posturing, so they're looking for something. But they're gonna find this axe. Farming's Blink Dagger, that's very unfortunate. Uh, the Radiant reading the situation very well. Like, uh, they see the Dire posturing, then they see the they see the Axis farming their jungle. You know, they know he's all alone. Because they see pretty much every single Dire here is pushing up the tier 2s, so... Oh, gets fingered. Not quite enough, but the Blade Fury is there to finish him off. Egg does come down, but I don't think he's gonna be enough. It does pop, but only stuns the Juggernaut, so I think it's time to bail my guys. Rubik gonna end up going down, unfortunately, and I think that's the that's the end of that engagement. Very unfortunate. Uh, like, uh, I'm not sure why the. I mean, I think the Dire probably thought they were, you know, they were very strong. I mean, right, really so. They are. They had egg. They had pretty much everything, and they probably thought they could take a fight, but they didn't really take it in the best of ways. And you know, with the axe dead, may not the greatest, uh, not the greatest decision. I don't know, I feel like the Dire feel like uh, they have like this timer that, um, or at least that's how they're playing, because, you know, they were posturing over here trying to make a fight happen, and then, you know, your axe gets picked off. You know that the uh, Dire heroes are over here, I mean, the Radiant heroes are over here, but then you still try to take a fight with your axe dead. I'm not sure. 
They might think that they're on a timer, but honestly, I don't. I don't really think that they're on a timer. I think uh, they're quite okay with their late game. But then again, you know, Juggernaut, I think, is the big daddy, of, big daddy late game of this game. But then again, Pugna de Crepify is quite a bother for this uh, Juggernaut trying to make kills happen. Nice pick off on the on the bounty hunter, just farming away. Blink dagger was revealed. Let's see what neutral items there are. I see. Radium pop tier two tower gonna end up getting pushed down. Uh, this guy going in BKB, BKB Yasha. I wonder if he's gonna get uh, SMY. Probably gonna get SMY after the BKB. Radiant mirroring the dire's movements. Nice little decrepify, making the siege tower survive. I wonder if this racer is gonna get axed because they, like, when it comes to outside of the Pugna, they don't have that great of a um, power a tower push. So I wonder if he's gonna try to get the axe to, you know, get better, get better tower push. Unfortunate, this um, this bounty hunter, you know. Trying to do bounty hunt things, you know, scout out, track people, but gets found out, called, dragged back, and then killed. Let's see, I wonder if it's Juggernaut. Yup, SNY. <laughs> Everyone's getting SNY, even from the last patch, people are getting SNY. And I mean, there's no real silence or no real thing that you want to manta off, so yeah, SNY just makes sense. Another item that I think is kind of nuts is patch is satanic. Uh, before it used to be like before you could dispel satanic. Not that that really was an issue, but you could dispel it. Now it's non spellable, and it also applies a basic dispel onto you. Um, and also, I think the cooldown was re was reduced. Pretty insane. Pretty insane changes. So um, we'll see if uh, this jury now decides to get uh, early. But uh, early. Satanic, um, but looks like right now he's gonna finish up being the owner. They move on to the Roche pit. I wonder if the Dire know about this, and if they do, they probably should fight this. Like they have pretty good team fight around the uh, around the pit. They have Egg, they have the the Kerpify and the Axe Call. You know, very close quarter. But looks like they're they're not aware or they're. They're just choosing not to fight. I don't think they actually know. Now they know because they ping it now. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. They definitely didn't know. Because I definitely think that if they knew, they would have uh, contested that. Spugna, Octarine Core. Next is going to get the Yule Scepter. He has something coming over to him. Nether Shaw, very nice item. Super nice item for him. This racer, very close to his BKB. It's like the Dire moving over to the Racer, you know, giving a little bit of backup. Shard, what's the shard actually? Uh, oh, Sun Ray can be used during Supernova, very nice. I wonder what the Axe is gonna go next. Um, probably Blade Mail, I'm guessing? There's, uh, there's, it's not another item that really stands out to me, maybe, maybe Pipe? But besides from that, no real item that really stands out to me. This boy has his. Oh, does he have his Mjolnir yet? Or he just changed halfway to an Aghanims? I think he might have changed halfway to an Aghanims. Verona. Gonna go for the Yules. Very nice setup uh, with the Yules. Easy arrows there. Yeah, the Dire definitely do not want to fight this right now. Look at the invoker, what he's getting. Uh, he actually went the Witch's Blade. I haven't clicked on the invoker for quite a while. The, the change to Witch Blade is now, now it gets. Wow, well, almost get bursted down like that. Uh, Witch's Blade now gets True Strike, True Strike, which I think is kind of nuts. Um, the item was already uh, the item was already good. Like he was like Puck, pretty much. Well, I wouldn't say every mid laner, but a lot of mid laners got the. Um, Got the Witch Blade, but now that it gives True Strike, it got quite a bit of a buff. So now Witch Blade seems kind of like a go-to if, uh, if you're playing in the mid. Also, another thing that I hate <laughs> is that they took away the True Strike and Rapier, so Rapier gaming is kind of dead. 
back in the day, well not back in the day, in the last patch, you know, rapiers was like, you know, you're losing the game, it's like, alright, let's get a rapier. Because, you know, if they get a butterfly or they have any type of evasion, you can just get through that and, you know, deal quite a bit of damage. I, I really don't think now that uh, rapier, now that rapier doesn't give true strike, I definitely don't think we're going to see as many rapiers in, you know, pro games or, uh, or just in games in general. A little bit sad because I kind of liked, uh, I kind of liked seeing rapiers, but, you know, it is what it is. Almost there to his eggs. It's like uh, they just took this tier two. The juggernaut almost died, and they're like, "All right, all right, let's, uh, let's chill, guys. Let's chill. <laughs> let's uh, let me just farm my eggs, and then uh, and then we'll do something about that." Come and get it. Yeah, eggs gonna get BKB. Very nice. Good purchase there. Uh, Yule scepter, blink, and then Yule scepter. Yeah. I'm always fascinated by Rubik's cast range. Like, dude, look at. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that. That's insane. Smoke movement coming through by the Radiant. They're smoked up. Uh, moonlight. Looks like they want to get this book now. They might. But they find somebody else in the way. They find a Razor. Very nice kill. Egg does come, does come down. But, yep. Just like that. They get it. It's like this Axe going to end up going down too. Yeah, the Radiant getting, getting caught a little bit with their pants down. Ooh, that was close. Yeah, that was, that was unfortunate. Like, uh, you know, the, the game had taken a very chill pace. Uh, people were just farming, and it looks like the Dire were a little bit uh, a little bit too, you know, complacent with that. And, uh, yeah, just end up getting caught with their pants down. Very nice movement by the Radiant, you know. Like... Making the game, really setting the pen plan with the game. Like, uh, they decide to back off, chill, farm. I mean, the Dire pretty much have no chance, no choice because uh, the Juggernaut have to, has the Aegis. Maybe they could have made a smoke movement elsewhere where the Juggernaut was, but, you know, it didn't. And uh, they really didn't get a nice nice little pick up. Like, right now, they're, they're sending the tempo of the game. I don't think that's, um, that's, that's in your best interest if you're the Dire, because... Like, um, the Radiant have very good pickoff potential. You definitely don't want to give the, the Radiant, like, you know, uh, the tempo so they can make the pickoffs to happen wherever they want. So, you know, this Aegis, I don't think you, I don't think the Aegis is going to be, you know, going to be for long. Aegis aspires. I wonder if the Dire know about this and if they're going to try to make a movement. You know, they, they see the Invoker's top, yep. Precisely what I thought. They see the Invoker's top, they know that the Aegis is down, it's like, alright, it's go time. Trying to make something happen. Oh no, they start running top. That's unfortunate. They saw, they saw the Invoker top and, and they're like, oh, they're probably top. Nope, they're bottom, my friends. That's unfortunate. They get the bounties for the trouble, but other than that, not really going to get much out of the smoke. Very unfortunate, for sure, because... The, the Dire right now really needed something, like uh, they really need something. It's 5k net worth lead, not so bad, but if it keeps going this way, like you don't really have heroes that can farm that fast, like this Razor is not going to farm as fast as the Juggernaut, and that's a fact. Even though the Juggernaut didn't go for the Battle Fury, yeah, doesn't matter. Tier 2 getting poked down, very nice. Just keep doing this, you know. Uh, force the radiant to come to you. Don't let them like uh, get a pick off or you know some 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 silly shenanigans like that. Hold the high ground so that if they come with a smoke, you can just pop it. Ditch your bottom tower. Yeah, just ditch the tower. <laughs> just keep blasting it, man. Just keep blasting it. That's all you need to do. Just get this tower. Easy free tier free tier two right here, bro. You don't need to worry about it. And yeah, the Radiant, uh, they know. They, they don't worry about the other. Oh wow, they're even poking at the high ground. Okay, they're even poking at the tier 3. They even fortify their structures. Like, they want this. They they want to force a force of reaction. Like, they really want this Radiant team to just come back. Arrow off the mark. But Juggernaut's kind of coming back. And look at the dire, just give it up. We're like, alright, alright, alright. We don't want to lose our tier 2. But they will. 
I mean, how many heroes TP'd back? Just two. It was just, I think it was just Imran and the Lion that TP'd back, and that was enough to, you know, scare the Dire away. Now uh, the rest of the, now the rest of the Radiant hero heroes are gonna TP back. Looks like they wanna take control back of the Triangle. Axe need to haul ass my guy, otherwise, yeah, nicely done. I think it's now, now it's go time for the, for the Radiant. Do they have a smoke on anyone? Yeah, they do. They have a smoke on Lion. They have Moonlight Shadow. They do. They're gonna use it. And I think this is the time when some Radiant heroes are gonna die. Yeah. They see the Razor. He gets tracked. Call comes through. And yeah, this... Oh, nice. Nice, the racer actually ran into the camp and the, the only slashes started going on to the creeps. Definitely not what you wanted and actually the racer survives because of that. They turn and fight around and all of a sudden what looked like a good, you know, a good initiation by the Radiant just completely gets turned around. The fact that the racer didn't die there, very big. Styling coming in, coming in one second. Oh, I thought they were actually going to try to chase that but, you know, like you have the numbers advantage. Pretty much all the, you know, there's no Omni Slash. Bounty Hunter getting sucked with the damage, Rubik does end up going down, Sunray doing some work, Bounty Hunter does end up going down, um, yeah, I, I think this is right now, this is Radiant Go time, I'm not sure why they're, really, they're not diving more, but, you know, they got some good kills, they're happy with that, they just want to get back, you know, not lose anything more, oh, they got a kick off on this book now, sucking off his teammates, Oh, they want to go back in. They have vision, so. Ooh. Come and get it. Radiant are scanning. Yeah, it looks like uh, that's gonna be the end of that. Phoenix is gonna TP back, defend the base. Yeah, it looks like uh, it's not gonna be anything more than that. That was that was a very cool, very cool fights, very back and forth. Um, I thought the the radiant for sure had a much better initiation there, but you know that Omni Slash, um, those last few hits that would have finished off the racer, uh, end up going onto the neutral camps. Very nice by the racer running over to the neutral camp, and you know, uh, nice try, nice attempt at the blind call. Racer sucking the sucking the bounty hunter for 72 damage. Not bad, not bad. But I think that's gonna be that's gonna be it. I don't think there's gonna be any more than that. And yeah, just like that, this boy is getting satanic. My boy knows what's up. See the juggernaut. Has Zagnus complete. Also his Mjolnir. I wonder who's gonna go next. Ooh, that's the that's a very nice pickup. Palin sword. Very nice, very nice. So they're gonna oh nope they're not gonna trade outpost the dire uh, the dire should probably take this bottom outpost but I guess they're a little bit too busy um, eyeing out this yep boom dead just like that very really nice pick off uh dude they have so much poke they have so much poke with the pugna the the rubik and you know the the Kerpify making the uh, making the magic damage be so much more. Whoa. He ends up getting the spin before and pops the BKB because he gets cold snapped. Well, this Juggernaut's a little bit of trouble. He's already used spin. Oh, he uses Omni Slash, which he still had. Ooh. Ooh. Axe ends up getting saved. Aghanim's not coming through too much. And just like that, this Juggernaut's in trouble. I definitely think they should. Ooh. Oof, it's tempting, it's tempting. I definitely think they can burst this Juggernaut down uh, if uh, the Axe get the right call, but he's a little bit too low right now. Looks like the Dire are gonna retreat. Radiant are pushing. They're pushing, even though they don't have Omni Slash. They wanna fight this. I'm not sure you you want to, but maybe so. This, this Juggernaut is very out of position, like super far forward to compare to the rest of the team. Does end up getting the spin out, so he doesn't get bursted down. Finger comes through on the axe. Oh, this egg, a little bit ambitious for sure. He's dead. This bounty hunter a little bit deep, but he's fast. He's got his BKB going. It's gonna be fine. This lion might be in trouble. They don't have detection for him. They, yes, they do. I spoke too soon. They have a sentry right there. Wow. Um, 
Oh, Juggernaut does end up going down. What? How? To who? Oh, to, to the to the Phoenix? What? What? Interesting. Okay, so the Juggernaut does end up going down. I didn't even see that. I thought the Juggernaut was still alive. I thought he survived the whole engagement. So very nice fight for the for the Dire. That that net worth lead, you know, it was back at like 6k, 7k, something like that. Now it's uh, less than 1k. Very nice. The the Dire are doing it. This is a pretty nice comeback. The Juggernaut just playing a little bit too ballsy. Like uh, you know, you've been wow. <laughs> gets melted this uh this rubik with the fade bolt and then you know the kinetic like the um, telekines telekinesis and then just pulls him back urna urna pugna uh pugna the carpify nether blast sucks him off and he's dead he's got no bkb he's got no oh he does have bkb wow he got bursted down within the bkb like before he could pop his bkb that was insane interesting I thought he didn't have a BKB. Wow. This, uh, yeah, this game is turning completely around. It's kind of insane. Um, yeah, like I was saying, this Juggernaut, you know, he's been he's been so far ahead for pretty much the whole game. Nice, uh, nice pickup on the Rubik. So I think it's time to bail for the Dire. Because this boy's got Omni Slash. And even though you might be ahead, Omni Slash still hurts. Ruby buys back. Looks like they want to make something happen. Roshi's back up, so they could maybe perhaps take that, but you know. Uh, Invoker's coming back in nine seconds, so I think uh, I think it's not in their best interest to actually do that. Maybe get a pick off on a key core, you know, maybe the maybe the Invoker or the um, or the Bounty Hunter and they could move into the Roche pit. But for now, they're just gonna scout it out. Probably not gonna do it. Just be aware that it's back up. But yeah, this this Jiren has been so far ahead for the, for, you know for throughout the whole game. You know he's like, this he sees the dire heroes retreating, and then he's like, oh yeah, yeah, let's go, let's go. They're you know they're pulling back. Let's go, let's go. And he's so far ahead from his team, and he just gets bursted down to 30% HP. He then does end up getting the spin out, but ends up going down to the Phoenix afterwards. So we have another engagement here. Arrow a little bit off the mark. Scan comes through by the dire. Does connect, so they know that somebody's there. Ooh, nice call. Pull him back. He's got no spin. He does have Omni Slash. Satanic coming through. Boy dropping a little bit low. A little bit too low for comfort. Wow, nice call. Pulling him back. He, he did have the spin back up, so he is going to be able to survive. Unfortunate that the egg does end up going down there. They do end up bursting the lion down. Call coming through. I don't think it connected on anything. This Bounty Hunter a little bit deep, I think he might pay with his life. Nope, he's fine. Omni Slash coming through. Bounces on to the Rubik, dies. Nice Equipify, saving his boy. And now... Oh! Oh! This Razor trying to stand his ground, but I'm not sure you're strong enough. Yeah, and just like that, Pugna gotta run away. <gasps> oh! Oh, that was so close. Now they're gonna move into the Roche Pit. That was actually so close. That that actually would have connected. That uh, that tornado would have uh, connected if it was just a few, just a little bit more to the left. And yeah, just like that. Wow. Interesting. Uh, the Dire were doing so well, but really trying to push the issue a little bit too much. Um, yeah, they were, they were doing really well, but. Uh, this fight just dragging on for a little bit too long and trying to push the issue like a little bit too much like trying to force something that you really didn't need to you were in a good spot you just need to you know get a pick off and then go to the rush pit but just like that you lose the fight you give up the rush the rush and <laughs> just like that 6k net worth lead again so razor getting a little bit too like not sure why when the when they were getting chased here instead of just running why he just didn't run he tried turning around and you know man fighting it but <sighs> you're not <laughs> that that's not gonna happen my guy like yeah it sucked the juggernaut for any damage um yeah a little bit unfortunate cues up the butterfly Let's see what this juggernaut's gonna get nullifier okay Let's 
see what items are coming up. <coughs> You'll set their... Well, apologies. Call coming through on the invoker. It's dropping kind of low, but the rubric does end up going down. Lion gets called. He's out of there. Titanic coming through, but I'm not sure it's going to be enough. Egg does end up coming down. Very nice spot. The rating have to run. Oh, a nice call. Egg is going to pop. Aegis is popped. Bounty Hunter almost dies, but unfortunately Axe is going to end up paying for his sins. Swift Slash comes on the comes down on the Racer, does end up killing him. Axe buys back, calls the Mirana, but she's stuck on there, does end up going down. Phoenix diving onto the Invoker. Oh, now it's nice. Eon Disc. Oh no, so close. Unfortunate. Yet, like he had spells, he had to Crepify and everything, he just didn't get it off. Axe dies back. Oh no. Oh no, disaster. Oh, this is not enough, my guy. You gotta run now. <laughs> I can appreciate that, you know, trying to finish off the kill on the on the bounty hunter. That was so unfortunate. That was so unfortunate. Like literally so many heroes from the Radiant were this close to death and they didn't end up dying. The invoker was probably about 20% HP, <laughs> didn't die. Bounty Hunter, as you as you saw, you know, it was 20% HP, 10% HP, didn't die, Rupert tried to kill him off, <laughs> didn't work out. I can respect that attempt though. But yeah, wow. Just like that. <laughs> 15k net worth lead. Oh no, the die were doing so well. That's kinda sad. And just like that it's gonna be Elena Rax. Pugnat does not have buyback because I think he bought the day gone, so. Axe doesn't have buyback, he died back. Razor is back up. Uh, I wonder if they're gonna try to push the issue or they're just happy with one set of racks. Oh no, don't die here, my friend. And yeah, it looks like they're just happy with one set of racks and not gonna try to push the Lux. Axe deeping in. Arrow. Almost connecting. I wonder if the die are gonna smoke up. Nope. Radiant, not really pulling back, kind of just fake backing. Bounty Hunter scouting things through. They're standing, they're standing on the high ground here. They're not actually fully back. They see it. Sentry Dunk comes down, they see him. Call comes through. They don't actually finish up the kill. Call him, uh, the call uh, misses on the line, but they end up getting the kill. It comes down, it gets popped. Oh no, this Pugna getting isolated. He needs help. He needs it now. He's fine. His teammate's coming through. Invoker. Ghost walk. No detection. Very fast boy. Ooh, Juggernaut. Swift slash. Still has the Omni slash. Wow. This might be GG. There's no Pugna. And this racer looks like he might die. He's alone. Ah. Okay, Lion dies. Buyback on the Bounty Hunter. Rubik. Okay, all good. Not GG just yet. Oh, maybe just GG. This Rubik getting picked off by the Bounty Hunter. This Bounty Hunter is actually insane, bro. Like, uh, he's doing so much work for, like, usually my Bounty Hunters are worthless, but this Bounty Hunter is doing so much work. And 48 seconds without Pugna. I'm not sure they can actually defend without the Pugna. Even though Lion's dead, but you know, it's Lion. Like, uh, you know, besides from stunts and his sex, he doesn't really bring much to the table. So I think they can actually push this. Mm -hmm. Razor. Oh no, they're both sucking each other off. Unfortunate. So that's Switch Slash. Yeah, that's Switch Slash coming through. Oh, Omni, Omni Slash. Uh, Sunstrike almost connecting. Wow, oh, uh, he ends up getting clipped. Unfortunate. Looks like he's going to go down. 20 seconds, no buyback, and he almost had egg off cooldown. Yeah, that Lotus Orb, big pickup by the, by the Bounty Hunter, you know, just 
protecting his cores from getting sucked by the by the razor. And also the pug now. Oh, Cataclysm ends up connecting on the on the axe and axe has no buyback. Arrow connects, stolen arrow connects on the bounty hunter. Not sure they can really kill him though. Unfortunately gets four stab out. Sky, switch slash. Get some of this damage stuck down. This is so intense. <laughs> so intense. 23k net worth lead. Like the dire are on their last stand right here. This is this is it. <laughs> this is it. They lose this fight, they lose the game. There's uh there's no other way about it. This Pogna not even saying for buyback. You don't care about buyback. You wanna burst people down quick. Cool. This Pogna, a little bit forward. Arrow, missing. Get spotted. Hexed. Stunned. Fingered. Not quite enough. Only slash coming through. Wow. Razor just tanks all of it. But he's not gonna end up going down. Unfortunately, egg, egg goes down. It's gonna get popped. Oh, axe call! Saving the egg! It pops! No way! I don't know why the axe is backing up. You gotta help your boy! There's no Omni Slash, there's no Switch Slash. Call? Boogna doesn't end up going down, I didn't quite catch that. No! 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 GG. GG. Unfortunate. That was, uh, that was a cool fight. I didn't actually see how the Pugna end up, ended up going down. Um, all I saw is he died to the Bounty Hunter. Unfortunate. That was a cool game though. Very cool game. Swift Link. <laughs> yep. Very cool game. Damn. That was a very cool game. Very cool game to watch. Like, uh, you know, at the beginning, the dire kind of get outmaneuvered. Um, the Radiant just making better moves. And then all of a sudden, the dire are like, ah, it's game time, boys. And then they started making even better moves, bring the net worth lead back into their favor, almost almost back into their favor. And then all of a sudden, you know, one bad fight that, you know, they pushed they pushed the issue a little bit too much. They get, you know, they get team, no, they don't get team white, only the Pugna survives. But, you know, what is the Pugna alone meant to do against the whole enemy squad? And then the Radiant team going into the Roche Pit and from there it just snowballs out of control and they take the game. Very unfortunate, so close from actually like making a sick comeback. Um, but yeah, that's just the price you have to pay from for not being ahead and being behind, you know, like you're behind, you're, you know, you're kind of taking the game back, but if you make one little mistake and the game's just over. Um, very unfortunate for the Dire, very well played. Um, just very well played for everyone, everyone played really well. I don't think there are any like, I usually flame quite a bit, but this game there was no flaming. Um, maybe a little bit on the racer, but other than that, it was fine. Very cool game. I'm very happy that I got to watch this and cast this. But anyways, that's it for me, guys. Thank you so much for watching. You know, if you can support the channel any way you can, whether it's liking the video, subscribing, sharing it with your friends, your girlfriend, your mother, your grandma, anything helps. However, if you can't do that or you know just not bothered, don't worry about it. The mere fact that you watch this video is good enough for me. Thank you guys for watching. Peace out.